Hey everybody, I'm Lynn from Pocket Full of Paint and today we're gonna to be taking this giant canvas and making a really fun piece of abstract art. Before we get started today, don't forget to go hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can find more fun DIY videos of things that you could implement into your home. First things first, I got this big canvas. It's 36 by 48 inches. I prepped it by painting it with some white paint. I'm just using regular paint from Home Depot, bare paint, paint you would paint on your walls. Nothing fancy, no expensive acrylics. I just got the little sample sizes of different colors I liked at Home Depot that I thought would fit into the room that I'm working on. Um, and that's what we're gonna use today. So after you've prepped your canvas, then you want to lay down a drop cloth on the ground possibly some plastic, I did both. And then I'm just using two by fours to set my canvas on top of once I lay it down um, while I pour the paint on it and then I'm gonna tip it back and forth, move it around a little bit, and then I'm gonna lay it back on the two by fours to let it dry. So here's the setup I got going on today. I have a drop cloth laid down and then I have plastic over the top of that and then I have my two by fours laid down where all of the corners of the canvas are gonna touch. Um, so I can lay it down on top of that. And then I have all my paints and I'm gonna show you these fun paint colors. I've laid it all out like this because this is gonna be really messy. This is a messy DIY. Don't plan on being neat and tidy here. You're also gonna waste a lot of paint. So be prepared to get messy and when I'm doing these paintings, I like to use a lot of neutrals. I feel like that helps balance out the wild colors and the wild designs that you're gonna get. So I always suggest using a lot of white or another neutral, um, or mixing some neutrals together to make this look really beautiful. I also really like to mix my sheens when I'm doing this. It just helps when everything's dry, you get a little bit of flat, you get a little glossy. It just helps the painting pop more and have more flow to it when it's hanging on the wall. So here we go. I'm gonna start pouring um, some of my whites and some of my other neutrals in, and then I'm gonna start pouring in my colors. And then I will begin tipping and tilting this and even a little tapping of the corners and the edges to make the paint really flow to all of the different areas of the canvas. Now that it's done, we've made a huge mess. I'm gonna just let it sit here for a couple of days until it dries. It's gonna take a while to dry because there's a lot of paint on that canvas. Um, and then I'll clean up my mess and hang it up on the wall. All right, so it's been a couple days, not a couple, it's been about five days. I've let this painting just sit here in my garage. Haven't touched it, haven't done anything else to it. So I'm gonna lift it up Here's what the finished product looks like. 